Hey everybody, I'm heading to the bins with my great friend Kim. I'm just on my way to pick her up. It is a very rainy, dark day and we need the rain so bad. I'm hoping that maybe the rain will keep some people away from the bins and we will have our pick of the litter. It is pouring out today, as mentioned. I have Kim, we're here in New Hampshire. Um, we're doing a little challenge today called the blue bag challenge. We're all very familiar in the reselling community with those Ikea bags and they fit a lot. I don't want to buy anything that does not fit in the blue bag. Whatever that means. No, could she do this? I don't know. I'm I don't know. Sure. I'm picking up some Victoria's <laughs> Secret stuff because I'm having a whatnot show. And then the kids. You and then I'll too. have a kids show eventually too. I always find good kids stuff here. Aside from that, no projects. It's gonna be clean, and and we're not. We're gonna stay away from. And shoes. I'm gonna try to she chill out on the shoes, shoes cause I have a lot to list. <laughs> this is one of those days I probably shouldn't be here, but I am. Um, it's. All, I have the day off of school. That's why. <laughs> so this was a date. Yes, it's all Kim's. We fault. like the voting day. Yes. They use the schools for voting. Oh, perfect. Good job, guys. Yes, go vote too. <laughs> yes, go vote. All right, let's go, girl. Let's see how we do here. It's gonna roll like a candy bag here. Oh, that's really cute. Is it good? That's not too bad. This is an American Eagle dress that's actually really cute, but I'm trying to tap the brakes on summer things, and it's the start of the day, and I'm really trying to stick to that one bag rule, but you will see very shortly that goes out the window quickly. <laughs> It's always fun to take a break from clothes and come over to hard goods. Sometimes I find some little treasures over here. I liked that little uh, pumpkin, but it did have a chip in it. Otherwise, nothing too exciting over here. this for the ride home, Kim. Right. <laughs> All right, things I wouldn't pick up. Things that only Kim would get. <laughs> My boys hunt. So that's okay. awesome. Look at that. Yeah. I mean, we have beautiful leather ones that I got them in Mexico, but this is great. Just like, right? Because we're not hot enough. Because I'm not sweating enough <laughs> in my old knee self. I just said to Kim, you can when you're done using it as a poncho, you can you can wrap it around your Christmas tree. There you go, I have a tree skirt. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's actually kind of quiet today. Right? It is quiet yeah. today. I need to go through some stuff. Here are a couple highlights. I just found this. I told Kim she's fired because she tossed this. <laughs> I'm too hot. <laughs> yeah. This cute little card again. It's yes. heavy. This will cost a pretty penny, but it's heavy. Yes. But that's all right. This would cost an arm and leg, but it's been, look at how oh, gorgeous. It's so pretty. I made it in England. Oh my gosh, this is junior fashion. Look at the back of it, the pleating. That's gorgeous. Literally, this weighs six pounds. Literally. Oh, fun. Well, I figured if you were doing your little kids, festive like, Halloween yeah. stuff. Yeah, that'd be cute for the kids' party. They're saying it's a rotation, so now everybody's gonna leave here. Everybody's making, has to go line up down there. Oh my God, you guys, look at this. We are way past one blue bag. <laughs> I have failed the blue bag challenge, it's official. All right, so I have a couple bags going. This is for whatnot. These are all athletic 
all athletic things. These are all for my kids' show. This is just regular stuff here. Kim found me this awesome vintage Levi's. Orange tag. Good job, Kim. Love it. I try. They're like brand new. Little, it's so cute. Aren't these so cute? I love this little boho bag. Super cute. Oh, but you know what? It's kind of hanging on by a thread. Literally. We look for reasons to throw things back. Large Timberland? Oh, yeah. Would Mark wear that? Oh, yes. Okay. That's a Mark item. That's Mark. This is Vineyard Vines. Not bad. Got these Doc Martens, but I think I'm going to toss them. Because look at the inside of them. Only things that don't need work, we promised today. Vineyard Vine, we could yeah, sew the tag. I, That's so easy. So this is a brand I picked up a couple times. It's Woolovers, and it doesn't resell for great, but I thought this was a nice piece. I thought these were really cute. New in the box, DKNY, little pointed toe, cat hair. Very cute. Old. That was so cute, the pet gallery. Perfect. That is. Do that, color? I do. I'll give this to you. Okay. Am I tossing this back, this Forever 21? Yeah, I no. just... All right, I think someone's gonna like that. Or oh my God, someone, yes, right? is going to love it. And especially because it has the bling on the front. Oh, it has yeah, the rhinestones. Yeah. I didn't even notice that. Yes. I don't think I'm taking Raggedy in. Okay, let's go put them back. You did a good job. Someone's probably screaming at the screen. Oh, Victoria's oh, Secret. Yes, there we go, That's another. Yes, gee, someone is gonna be. <laughs> Someone's yelling at me through the screen. I just <laughs> this is pretty contained. Yes. This is you. That's me. I think we're good. We're good. We're going to put our go backs back. This is a little backpack for um, espressos. Oh, I didn't know it was for uh, espressos. Yes. So it has <gasps> the little cups and... Oh my gosh, look at yes. this. Yes. And then the little um, carafe. It's brand new. Brand new. When they sell the coffees to the restaurants. Oh, smart. They yeah. having had restaurant. I used to be um, a restaurant socks. owner. Perfect. I'll put them in Stephen's girlfriend's. Oh, yeah. For little, little stocking. Thr yep. Um, Pampered Chef. Oh, this was a good find, too. So it's a... So you can do your salads. Oh yeah. You know, I've done, so you layer your salad, you put the wets on the bottom and then the greens on the top. And it has a fork and a spoon oh my inside. Oh that's adorable. Yeah. So. Kim also works in the school, so that'll yes. be so good. So this will be so good. And then uh, the dog leash. This is beautiful. Isn't that gorgeous? And here's the, no, it's your end. Yeah, this I thought was so cool. The foggy dog. It's heavy. Yes. It's like so well made. Right, we uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Yes. We gotta go. So how do we do? <laughs> Fail. I, I say we. <laughs> I'm including you in my delinquency. Thank you. <laughs> we failed. We failed miserably. <laughs> but it's time to get french fries. <laughs> so. Okay, the Diet Coke is ordered and the cheeseburger. And the Coke. And the french fries. <laughs> um, so yeah, we failed. Yes. But that's okay, we had fun. We did. It was kind of a mellow day. It was. But I always find that when I get home and I start going through the bag, I'm like, oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. No, you there know? were a lot of good things. There were a lot of good there. things. There was yes. just nothing like, whoo, like, yes. you know, one of those moments. But yes, we're delirious now. It's three o'clock. We haven't eaten. And so we're heading home. Thanks, love. Mwah. It's coffee weather. <laughs> Isn't it always coffee weather? We were debating hot or cold, but after today we went iced pumpkin cold brew. So good. So good. Do you get the straw or no straw? I get the straw. I get the straw. All right. Cheers. Hello. Did you miss me? You left your cookie. You want your treat? Yeah. Now you can have it. You left your diaper on. I'm so proud of you. Lulu, you did a good job, pretty. Oh, now Mama's home. She's going to have her snack now. Enjoy, lovey. That's been here all day, Lou. I am back from the bins, like literally just walked through the door. Lulu Marie was very happy to see me. I left her with her little diaper on today. Right, Lulu? She did a really good job. I think I'm just doing a right out of the bag kind of a haul. <sighs> I need to catch my breath. Typically, when I come home, I really do like to wash everything, go through, run comps, and do like a nice pretty video for you. But it is raining out today, Jay is working late, and I have all this stuff, so I'm just gonna pull it right out of the bag. I love these old school hauls sometimes. They remind me of when I first started reselling, this is what I used to love. Savannah from Street Savvy with like an hour and 30 minute haul right from the bins. <laughs> they used to be my favorite, so that's what you're gonna get today. So for starters, as mentioned, didn't do very well with my blue bag challenge. I 
really, really wanted to do well. But because I was there and I was specifically sourcing for a couple of my whatnot shows, I have a Victoria's Secret slash pink show this week on Thursday. I'm filming this on a Tuesday. This should probably go up um, on Wednesday, so hopefully you'll see this before the show. And so I was sourcing specifically for that, and then I added on to that some athletic wear in general. And then secondly, I have been collecting a bunch of kids stuff, not intentionally, but I'll pick up kids things, and a lot of the times they just don't get listed on Poshmark, so I decided that I was going to do a kids show as well. I'm also planning to do a an accessories show, accessories scarves, handbags, belts, that sort of thing. So those are the things that I was keeping in mind while I was shopping. So in addition to filling up my said blue bag, we did fill this one up. I also filled up, well this one, this was kind of an auxiliary bag. I got this one filled too. So let's start with this blue bag. And if you're interested in seeing the items specific to the whatnot shows, I will do that after I go through this blue bag and show you what I got. Thank you guys so much for being here. If you like bins hauls and you're having a good time today, please be sure to hit the like button and remember to subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to see more from me. This is one of the things I showed at the bins. It's a North Face sleeping bag and it's the kind that zips right up like a little cocoon. It does have the holograph somewhere on it. It did have a few flaws stain wise. Like I'm definitely gonna wash this. It wasn't too, too heavy. The comps on these types of sleeping bags from the North Face range. We'll have to see where this one lands when I run the comps, but I look forward to washing that and getting that listed. As I normally do with these videos, I will count everything up and at the end, we will give a total of what I spent and then we'll figure out my price per item because that's just fun to do when you're at the bins. At my Goodwill outlet, we pay $2 a pound. I did get a couple books and that is cheaper. I don't remember what the price is, maybe 35, 50 cents a pound for, for glass and books. So I'll show you that as well. Sorry, drop my phone. Kim's family used to own a restaurant in the North End in Boston, which is the Italian neighborhood. And when she saw these, there were also some other ones. She's like, these are great containers and they, they seal tight like this. They're so nice. So we grabbed a bunch. There were a ton of these. Like someone had an entire cabinet that they just donated. Oh, this one's cracked. That's a bummer. I was trying to get the good ones because we thought they were going to count these as glass for us, but they did not. I'm gonna put these in the pantry. Now that the kids are away, um, we're trying to organize things and get rid of old food and just like have a nice aesthetic in the refrigerator and in the pantry. So I just got these two and then this size and then one tall one and then Kim got a bunch too. Kim weighed this one and I think it came out to be like $1.80 so I figured these are probably $1.50 so three, four, five, six. This was probably between six and seven dollars. I also grabbed this and I've run the comps on Nine West things before. I think I've seen Nine West overalls and the comps are just god awful and I don't know why because this is such a cute jacket. This is an extra large so I'm thinking about keeping this because like on a day like today, it was pouring out and it has the zipper that is um, built in. I don't really own a rain jacket. I have a really nice trench coat from Burberry that I bought years ago. I invested in a black trench coat. It has a removable zipper, but I don't always want to wear that out when I'm like at the bins, for example. So I thought this was a great coat. I love the color of it. It's great for fall. And I don't have to have the hood out if I don't want it, which is really nice. I don't really have a raincoat. I would have sold it, but the, the comps aren't great for Nine West. Okay, this is Shein, and I couldn't leave it behind. You know that Shein is about the bottom of the barrel fast fashion that you can get. They don't treat their workers well. It's super inexpensive but um, sometimes they have some trendy pieces and I always try to give Shein a second life when I can, so you don't really need to get to know that label. But they do have trendy clothes and I thought that this dress was so cute with the ties here. It's a size large, so I think this is really cute. I'm gonna try it. If not, that will probably end up in a show. I thought this was adorable with the animals and Kim pointed out they all have like a little bit of bling. I don't know if you can see if I come in close, but. Anything with like the graphic print of animals, cats, dogs, usually do well on all platforms, like across the board, people seem to be excited. All right, quick story. I sold a BC sweatshirt during my BOGO sale on Poshmark and the woman received it and she opened up a case. Well, she emailed me first, she was very sweet. She said, Lori, I got the BC sweatshirt, but it's not the one that I ordered. And I was like, uh-oh, because I think the other BC sweatshirt sold 
and I've already shipped it out and they never said anything. So I think I had them in the same bin, two BC sweatshirts, and I got them mixed up. The second BC sweatshirt is coming back to me, but I don't think that the one that she ordered is available any longer. And I couldn't remember the size or anything. So I saw this and I grabbed it and I thought, well, I've sold two BC sweatshirts over the past few months. At the very least, I'll have another one in my inventory and maybe uh, she might like this one better than the one that's getting sent back to me if the one that she ordered, in fact, is no longer in my inventory. So I need to double check and probably not put them in the same bin because I also wash them and they're packaged in the plastic so I couldn't, I didn't see. This is a scarf, which I thought was really pretty. It's this nice dusty, mauve color it has a frayed edge and then the back side is solid this is a saint john skirt so the issue with this is if i bring it in close to you you will see that some of the bling is missing you can't really tell at first glance but i will definitely have to note that in the listing i will definitely list this on poshmark this is the label for saint john this is the high-end label not to be confused with saint john's bay which i believe is jc penny i used to price my saint john stuff really high i have a pretty high priced jacket in saint john right now but it's black with gold hardware and it's stunning and it's in beautiful condition and pretty timeless this sort of thing maybe i'll list this for 40 dollars um, and this is probably like a 250 dollars skirt but it is flawed and I don't know who's really seeking that out, but I did think it was pretty. I am a sucker for nightgowns. I'm learning this about myself. This is so pretty and Kim brought it over to me. I'm like, oh yeah, I definitely want that. And it looks vintage as well. Um, it's just nylon in the brand Gossard Artemis. I don't know. I don't trust my eyes right now or anymore, but isn't this pretty? It's just long. It's got the sheer overlay. I think it's just a really pretty vintage nightgown. I think it's beautiful. So that was kind of a style pickup and I've been just enjoying selling vintage gowns. I don't know this musician, but I picked this band tee up because I'm always on the hunt for band tees. Most platforms do pretty well with band tees. So this is, who is this? Alan Jackson. I don't know anything about this musician, but she said he's been around for a while and it looked like a really lived in fun band tee. So I decided to grab that. Um, this is Pawnee, Indiana. This is the fictional setting for Parks and Rec. A lot of Parks and Recs fans. Worst case, I'll put that in one of my kids' Christmas boxes. These are a pair of North, North Face snow pants and they're really nice. I love the color and they're lightweight and they're an extra large. I think these will be a decent sale. I would say somewhere between like 40 and $60 for these. I haven't priced these out in a while, so I'm not sure. This was new with tags. Kim brought this over to me. This is just the brand Flying Tomato. It's a cute um, boutique brand. The price was $20 at TJ Maxx and then marked down to $12. I always remove the TJ Maxx tag from my items before listing them. Unless of course the TJ Maxx tag is the only tag attached which makes it new with tag um, and this will definitely get a good steaming anytime i get something at the bins that is new with tags it gets steamed with my jiffy steamer which is kind of like industrial strength and i've had it for years it's wonderful isn't this a fun pattern though i thought this was beautiful definitely um, moving away from summer but because it was new with tags a little two dollar dress I thought was fun. I grabbed this ultra mini skirt. I don't pick up many mini skirts, but this looks like an old American Eagle with the cursive writing. So this is very Y2K to me. And then I think that these mini skirts are doing pretty well on Depop right now. I haven't been sourcing much for Depop specifically, but when I grabbed this, that's exactly where it's going. It's an older style and it's that really mini denim skirt. So that is going to go on Depop. This is the dress that I bought for myself from American Eagle. Super, super soft. I own it in black and it's just a great like bang around the house. And sometimes like I'll throw like one of like a black calf to a uh, black kimono or something over it. So very comfy. I think this would even look cute with my hat, like just a little dress and hat. Oh, this is one of the Levi's vests that Kim found. This is a denim one that looks like somebody um, cut the sleeves off of it, but kind of fun for the fall. I was debating a little bit on this one, but I ended up grabbing it because I do think it's still a fun look. I mean, Levi's is just so classic. I haven't sold a vest like this in a while, so we'll see how it does. Sometimes the jean jackets sit for me. It really depends on the style and stuff. I think this is a kid's dress. This is a fun pattern for the fall. 
I'll have to look this up. I, I personally love Mary Mecco stuff. Oh, I'm just seeing a stain on this. That's too bad. It's not like a total deal breaker, but this is a 100% cashmere sweater. You can see like a little stain on the sleeve. But I guess better to have a tiny little stain on the sleeve than a hole, and I did not see any holes. That doesn't mean I won't discover one. But this is a Garnet Hill size small cashmere. Cashmere is pretty light, so the bins is a great place to pick up cashmere. You just have to be really careful because oftentimes cashmere ends up at the bins because it, of course, has holes. I was really excited about this sweater. Showed this a few times. It's three people. The price tag on it is $108. Did I say already? I spent $128 on everything that I bought, and I kind of weighed my things separately. I weighed the whatnot Victoria's Secret bag, then I weighed the little kids and accessories handbag, and then I weighed everything else. This is, looks like it was a Nordstrom, yeah, it's Nordstrom Rack, free people, but $108 and then it was on sale for $59. So chances are I will rip off the $59 tag, leave the 108, and yeah, this would be great to get between like $40 and $59 for this great cardigan sweater. It's a great color blue, like a cobalt blue with black. It is a size medium, free people, runs pretty large, so I will steam that. This is an ACDC fun little cropped. I don't know if this was a DIY crop or what. It's nice and lightweight. I love that it's pink and gray. I think it's really cute. It's just the brand ACDC. Nice and stretchy and soft. I think that will do well. This is Wild Fable. I'll probably do this on um, whatnot. Although look at how cute. I love the little check pattern on the inside and I think it's meant to be a tunic. Although it could be a real cute little mini dress as well but I absolutely loved that pattern. This, of course, was the dress that Anne brought over to me. She recognized me, and uh, so it's so funny. People know my style. She's like, Lori, this looks like something you would like, plus it was a 2XL. So Anne, thank you so much. So pretty and feminine. Look at the, the ruffle on the sleeve, and it's a nice short sleeve, and then it's an adorable midi dress in a 2X, and I think it would be a pretty flattering cut. I think that is just adorable. Thank you, Anne. You know me so well. Oh, this is that wool over sweater. I hope there are no holes in this because this, this looked like brand new. Look at how beautiful the little blingy is on this. The little gold embellishments I thought were so pretty. I discovered this brand a little while ago. Wool Overs is actually a great brand retail, but I I think the pieces that I've had have been kind of sitting in my inventory, although this is probably my favorite piece that I have found. The other piece that I found was more like turquoise and pink, a little bit more of a preppy look, I guess, and I think this will do well. I think it's really beautiful. This can't go in the wash. I always do like a separate pile as I'm sorting through my bin stuff, so you guys kind of get to sort with me. This is Vineyard Vines. I have like a a fabric glue that I use sometimes, like a teeny tiny dot will work. And I will put a tiny bit just to barely tack down a label like this if it has come off. This is Vineyard Vines, just a nice classic sweater. Vineyard Vines is kind of hit or miss for, for me. Typically does a little bit better in the summer. It's a big brand here in New England especially on the Cape and on Martha's Vineyard, of course. This is a brand that I don't remember when I first picked it up, but I sold three of this brand on Whatnot, and the sales were pretty good. The brand is Eileen West. I love the base of this. Like this pleat right here, uh, so pretty, the tiered look. And I have a matching sleeveless nightgown this is a size medium, 100% cotton. I would say that this definitely runs big. If you would have asked me, I would have thought this was like a large or an extra large. Just really pretty. It's more of a conservative look. And then I got the matching um, sleeveless nightgown as well. Starbucks hat because I just think that's kind of fun. And I was thinking if I washed this and gave it away with like a Starbucks cup, that could be a fun giveaway on whatnot or just like a fun bundle, but I have to wash that. This I grabbed because I love kimonos and I think this is just very classic. It's black, I think it's a size small, just very sheer. 
but would look so pretty, you know, with just like a black t-shirt. I was watching a fall fashion video recently. I can't remember the creator who was doing it, but she was styling fall fashion for 2022. And she said that white tank tops were all the rage. I'm like, white tank tops? That's so interesting to me because I feel like that's kind of a basic, but she said that you saw a lot of white tank tops on the runway. So this would look cute with a white tank top and some high-waisted jeans, be really cute. I personally would wear it with a black tank top, but I'm not very fun. This is that amazing orange tag Levi's Sherpa denim vest. Check this out. I should probably turn the light above me on. Let me see if that makes a difference because it is getting really dark out. I don't know if that helps at all. But anyway, I was pumped about this and I think it's so cool. What I love about this is that it has the Levi stitching as if it's like a back pocket here in the front. I think that's a cool detail. I'm dying to do a little research on this. I, I will pop up some comps or info on this for you because I think this is a special piece with the orange tag. And Levi's is one of those things, like if you have a special piece, you can price it accordingly. I never really list anything that's Levi's that could potentially be something special without running comps. In fact, just today while I was at the bins, where's my phone? I had an incredible sale. This is great timing. Um, I had uh, these pants that I'll pop up here. I purchased them at Buffalo Exchange and I think I paid like between 20 and $25 for them. And I knew it was a little bit of a stretch, but I came home and realized how rare they were. And the comps on these pants were promising and mine were new with tag. They are the Levi's Stay Pressed, S-T-A Pressed, P-R-E-S-T, Stay Pressed Pants. I listed them for $159 and it was a full price sale today. Knock on wood, I hope everything goes through. But these are the pants. Um, should I not, I mean, I can always pop a picture up for you, but $159 sale today. Like this basically, this paid for my entire bin strip. And with Levi's, it's really important to do your due diligence and your homework because you could in theory find a piece like this that is very rare. So I'm happy that I priced those high. Some things I will just price high. I say set them and forget them. Like I set the price and then I just put it out into the universe. And if it's sitting a year later or six months later, I'm like, okay, Lori, you're crazy with that pricing. And then I will we'll mark it down. But I hadn't received any offers on that and I've had it for a, you know, a few months now. So full price on that was, was very exciting. This dress I just really liked. It's not a familiar brand. It's dark and it's D period arc. I don't think it's anything special but i thought the dress was special i loved the colors i loved like the midnight blue and like some of the the frilly feminine lines on this i just really loved this floral pattern above all and i think that this dress would look really cute in the fall with like a gold cardigan sweater or something i think this is an easy piece that you can make work really well for the fall and of course it would work great in the summer but it's a maxi dress new with tag i thought it was so pretty from the bin so for a couple of dollars i'm gonna give that a try i picked up this red Sox hat this is 47 this is one of my favorite brands to pick up for red Sox stuff or sports stuff in general um, i think 47 that brand they they price their things pretty high and usually they have like a vintage like worn in look and i love the actual red Sox instead of the b and i love that like the stitching is by design, all distressed like that, and it is a fitted hat with a B. I'm gonna give this a wash because it does look a little dirty on the inside. Even though that sticker is still there, that might make you think it's new, but I don't think it is. And it's a size of medium. I thought that was so cute. This is just a vest, this very boho, open, crocheted looking um, lace vest, sorry. <laughs> It's late. I've been going strong since like 8.30 and it's almost five o'clock, so we're getting there. This is a Lane Bryant um, tank top that's really pretty. It is a size 14. I don't typically wear sleeveless, so I would cover up all, this, all the beautiful detail on this, um, but I think this is such a pretty tank top um, that I'm gonna have to steam too because that has, um, that has beading. These are just uh, joggers from Old Navy. Uh, but the price tag on them is $34.99 and they were brand new with tag and I thought they were really cute. They're very lightweight. These probably cost maybe $1.50. They have the little zipper on the bottom here. Super lightweight in this dark like olive green color. I thought they were so cute. 
And yeah, I think somebody will enjoy those. <laughs> My friend Kim just texted me, how is Lulu? Because I was worried because she was home. She wears a diaper now sometimes during the day. She was great. I came home and her diaper was still on. Okay, this is the Prana dress. I really loved the style of this Prana dress. This is just so classic looking. I feel like this is a timeless look. It's got the pockets, super cute, size medium. I'm pretty fussy with Prana and I feel like I find old style Prana a lot, but I thought that was really nice and current. This is Pendleton size 12 and it's 100% silk in this beautiful neutral color. This was a definite yes for me. I looked this over really carefully. The arms are sheer. Oh, it looks like just, I mean, no big deal, but this, um, the little tie that you would put the button into came undone, uh, but it's it's gorgeous. I think this is in beautiful condition from what I could see at the bins and it's silk, so super lightweight. Pendleton, um, I'm also decently fussy with. However, I thought that was a good piece and that may sit for a little bit, but it doesn't take up a lot of room in my inventory. It was inexpensive and I hope to get like around $30 for that. This is one of the first things we grabbed. Kim gave this to me. I don't know how this will do. It's soft surroundings and it's a shirt that has a built-in bra, like an underwire built-in bra inside, which I've never seen. It looks pretty comfortable. It's a 38D. It's short length, so I, I'm confused by it a little bit, but this color I thought was fun and it looked really comfortable. And I feel like people who like soft surroundings might be into this, so I don't know. I don't know if that was a good pickup or not, but I'm gonna give it a try. These are some Hollister shorts. Might throw these in Angie's Christmas box. They were in good shape. They're really, really soft. They are a size medium. Yeah, Angie sleeps in shorts all the time, so I might give that to her. This is the nightgown version of that Eileen West. Um, this has same style at the bottom, but it is just sleeveless up top. Yeah, I hope to get like between 20 and $30 for each of those. I don't know why this just spoke to me. I took this home from my kitchen. It was like an organic cotton towel that I thought was really pretty. And I thought this would be kind of fun for the fall weather because, you know, it looks, looks like maybe a bridge is from a birch tree, but it kind of gave me fall Halloween vibes without being like in your face Halloween. So I thought this was really nice. So I might just fold this up and keep it in my kitchen. I was really happy at the register when they only charged me um, the book fee for um, the Polar Express. It says $45 value. It's priced at $32.99. It has the CD the Polar Express book and the bell, of course, and it's sealed and packaged. I just think the Polar Express is a classic. It's a great gift for any child. And um, yeah, it's a hard covered book inside. I got this little puzzle with all these, oh, sorry, the light is bad. Um, this cute little dog puzzle, and they're all dressed up for Halloween, 300 pieces. I might give this to my mom. Yeah, I just couldn't leave that behind. It was really cute. <laughs> Large pieces, 300 isn't that much, but I got this for myself. It's a little tea box. This time of year, I love to have tea and we just have like all the, all the little boxes of tea and they're a mess in my cabinet. And I thought this was so nice. Jay, Jay bought me uh, an official tea box when he went to London years ago, uh, but that's full. So I got this as, as like a little second tea box and then also we'll be able to, to see the tea inside. I thought it was cute. I mean, all these, these three items, all brand new, you know, so cute things. This is the last of those containers. This is the bunny from the book, Guess How Much I Love You. I'm not going to take it out because it's new in the package, but it's just a little bunny rabbit. I'll probably list that on eBay. I'm going to fly through this because these are all whatnot things. It's fun when you go to the bins, if you're interested in doing whatnot, or even if you're interested in just curating your Poshmark closet, go with a specific goal in mind. And it's amazing sometimes the stuff that pops up. Other times it can be a bust, but today we did really well. I don't always pick up Victoria's Secret, but today I went and I knew I had a couple people who requested a Victoria's Secret party or show specific to whatnot. So I said, why not? I have a bunch. I'm trying to get my inventory to not be at 1300. I'm at like 1250 right now and I'm trying to get it to like 900. And I think that whatnot is going to allow me to do that. So I'm starting to pull things from my inventory. So I'm pulling all my Victoria's Secret in pink from my Poshmark closet and I'm going to bring it over to a whatnot show. But how cute is this? Kim found this. Victoria's Secret sports bra. This whole bag I think was $14. I put this bag on separate and the kids bag on separate. This is Adidas. I thought this was like brand new. 
This was very unlike Adidas, I thought, to have like this little deer right here. But it is Adidas and it's a full zip and it's like brand new. So I grabbed that for the show. Some Nikes. Um, these are Eddie Bauer and they were new with tag, $80 for these pants. So these I'm actually gonna list on Poshmark for sure. I could in theory sell four of these items and pay for this entire haul. The bins are just crazy. This is a cute Nike hat in brown. I thought this was adorable. Um, it's Nike Golf, selling that. These are also Nike shorts. There was this one bin that I grabbed a lot of Nike, Nike stuff out of. These are size medium. Can't tell, uh, these are probably men's, but they're really nice. This is just kind of a boutique brand. Members Mark. Looks like something you get like at Costco or something, but it's a really cute tie-dye. I thought this was really nice. New with tag. Look at my new with tag pile or special fabrics pile is growing. I grabbed two Lululemon bags. I thought these were cute. And um, sometimes I like to include a Lululemon bag when I sell a Lululemon item, although there was no Lululemon to be found today. I got this pink sweatshirt. This is a Victoria's Secret bra. And I passed on a couple bras that seemed a little bit worn. This Nike Pro I thought was beautiful. This was in the same bin with all the other Nike stuff. It's like brand new. It's so nice, so nice. Um, this is a Nike tank top. I think I have to add Nike to the title of this show because there's a lot of Nike stuff. Oh, Kim found this beautiful Victoria's Secret blanket. It's so nice. I was so excited because it's something different. It has the Victoria's Secret heart like this. Oh, and the backside is just the reverse. Isn't this so nice? It's really soft really really soft so i'm gonna wash that that'll be really fun for the show there's a lot of stuff here to count this is airy and it was an extra large i love that it was a larger size the back is really cute it has this twist so cute another victoria's secret bra i i did very well for victoria's secret i found a lot this is more like a t-shirt bra cotton padded and it has like the trim that says victoria's secret i thought that was so nice this is another one Another Victoria's Secret bra. I mean, these are like $30, $40 bras. Oh, this looked so much like Gymshark, but I did not find a Gymshark label on it. But it's this camo long sleeve, um, has the thumb holes on it. Look at the detail on the back. And it also cinches right here, which I think will probably accent your chest a little bit. But I thought this was so cute. It is not Gymshark though. I don't know this logo. Maybe somebody can help me. I don't know what that is. This is definitely great for the workout show. These pink pants. I threw a couple pairs of yoga pants back that were just too worn. These are a size small pink yoga with the, the branding down the side. This is an Adidas tank top, ah, sports bra. I loved these, these were RBX, but they're like loaded with lint, if you can see. All you have to do, like I'm thinking, let me just see. Here's my lint brush. Let me just see if how this will work. Mm, it's, it's on there. I don't know what. Oh, it's coming though. It's coming off. And then I figure once it goes into the wash. Yeah, I got a lot off already. I'm going to wash it and then whatever doesn't come off, I'll come back and do more here. But I thought those were cute and they were size, size large and I like that color. I like this color too. This is Apana. Such a great basic workout shirt, nice and stretchy, little split seam on the side. I thought that was great. More Victoria's Secret pants. I mean, so many pieces for this sale. I thought it was wonderful. These are cropped legs, but I love like the pearly Victoria's Secret um, graphic there. I think that's it. What else? Oh no, one last thing for my workout gear. This is an Adidas new with tag from um, TJ Maxx. So this is just a basic Adidas graphic. I like the trefoil, I like the old Adidas logo, but because this was new with tag, I grabbed it. $30 is on the price tag. TJ Maxx is $12.99, so we will take that off. So cute. All of those things are fantastic. Oh my gosh, I have so many things. This Gymshark bag I thought was so cute. Isn't that awesome? I love the color. I definitely have to put this in the wash, but it's a really nice bag. So I hope I can get the stains out. 
If the stains don't come out, I just might give it to Ange. These were new in the box, these DKNY shoes. I actually tossed the box, um, but took a picture of the barcode so I could have all the information. Aren't these so nice with the with the little metal accent that says DKNY? I still have the tissue paper. Um, I thought these were beautiful. These are Cole Haan boots that are stunning. This is all suede here, and then it's got this really pretty gold buckle. And look at the bottom. They're in really good shape. And the toe, there was no scuffing on the toe. I think these are so nice. I think they're a nine and a half, if I remember, nine and a half B. They're beautiful. Perfect time of year for those. I was really trying to lay off the shoes today. So you'll see that the shoes that I picked up are in really mint condition. These are Keens and look at the back of those. Also, the Real Real accepts Keens. So sometimes if I have Keens that have been hanging around for a while and I haven't gotten to listing them, I'll just send them to the Real Real and just take what I can get. I really only pick up Keens at the bins, but the back of these are like brand new. So I think those will do well. Um, and then Kim found these. I found the cutest kids shoes today between Kim and I. I need to clean these up, but look at these little baby Timberlands. How cute are they? These little Mary Janes with the chunky heel. Oh my gosh. Maybe I'm just like feeling all the baby things because my kids are all grown up and I'm really like, oh. I got these Lucky Brand boots. I passed on some other Lucky Brands. I feel like I feel like ankle boots like this from Lucky Brand two years ago I or three years ago, I would have been like all over. I'm much more selective now, but like I said, I was looking for no maintenance shoes. I tossed back a pair of Doc Martens today because they were beat up. I tossed back Birkenstocks because they were beat up. I was proud of myself for not getting them just for the brand because I would take them home and they would be too much work. But look at how adorable these are, these Lucky Brand. And love the woven leather on the side. I'm always still surprised when I look at shoes retail value because they are so expensive. I think all we have left now are the kids items and um, handbags, which are on the bottom. So I'll go through this as fast as I can because kids stuff is like not that exciting. I think this is a little Gap shirt, really cute. This old navy um, corduroy jacket, so adorable. Little Nike pants. I thought these were so cute, love them. These are little baby Birkenstocks in excellent condition. I'm just gonna wash those up. Little baby Birks, uh, the little baby Uggs. Oh my gosh, these were so cute. The little Buffalo check. I mean, the Timberlands, the Birkenstocks, and the Uggs for kids. I mean, this is so adorable. Loved them. Kim picked up this little cat skirt. I don't have a size on this, but I, I can estimate the waist. I think it looks like a, it's ripped, but it looks like the top of Cat and Jack, which I think is Target. Super cute. This is that uh, brand Balboa Baby. I couldn't put this down. In fact, there was this sweet woman who was there with her little baby, and she was very low-key. I love watching the personalities at the bins because some people are like hoarders and like their carts are overflowing, and I love watching the people who are super curated and fussy, and you can see their cart come together, and it's so selective and I'm kind of again envious if you watch my last video like what are you holding on to I always say that I'm a minimalist wannabe which is probably why I admire these people but they're walking around and she had like a very curated she wasn't picking up a lot she was very classy looking she had a little baby with her and I thought you would look adorable in this with your little baby and she she told me that she thought her son was too big but these retail for over a hundred dollars now I don't know if there are different styles like maybe you can get them less expensive but the comp that I looked up was hundred nineteen dollars and this bag Bag, this brownish bag it's like a sack it's like a little baby thing you put it like this and the baby it's like a little sling for the baby this I saw sold comps for $45 on Poshmark so this is not going into the kids show on whatnot I'm gonna wash that and um, I'm gonna list it on Poshmark I'm getting stuffy this always happens like when I'm handling all these clothes I'm not super sensitive to stuff but um, eventually the dust kind of gets to me oh this is an accessory. This is Nine & Co by Nine West, but look at my hat here. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't this so cute? This is suede. I loved it for the fall. I had to get this. So I grabbed that. It's like brand new on the inside. Oh my gosh, look at this hair of mine. This is no shower. I woke up, got ready for the bins, went to the bins, and now it's close to six o'clock. 
This is a little vintage onesie, which is so sweet. Certain vintage baby things I just can't leave behind. Um, I recently picked up a pair of vintage Oshkosh Bagosh with, I think it was like a buffalo plaid check. Now my ears are sticking out. Liner, like fleece or flannel. And I thought this would look so cute under it. And it's Oshkosh as well. So I probably wouldn't normally have picked this onesie up, but um, I think I'm going to sell it with the overalls if the, if the sizes match up. And this is a nice, like it kind of has like a thermal feel. It's in really good shape. Oh, and then this little, this little kitty shirt too is so cute. Okay. And then, oh, one more baby thing. Oh, Lulu, I could give these to you. These look like di diapers that you put in the wash. Oh my gosh, no joke. I've been feeling bad about the disposable diapers I've been using for Lulu. <laughs> The stuff we do for our aging animals. These are brand new and they look like little diapers, but she just needs a spot for her tail because I would love to just be able to wash her stuff. Anyways, these are really cute. I don't know what the brand is, but anyway, either Lulu will get them or I'll sell them in my kids show. One of the other things I was on the hunt for is um, some fun little giveaways for my whatnot shows. A few times back at the bins, Kim and I, well, Kim found this, like it, it looked like it was a shoe pocket thing that you put on the door and it was all macrame and cute and at one of my whatnot shows I did like mystery pockets and I put like numbers on the outside and if somebody won the giveaway they would pick a number and then what was ever in the pocket they would win so I wanted to get some fun little giveaways that I could put in those pockets or or package with other things that I thought would be cute so this is from the paper store, which is like a Hallmark store that's around here. And it's $12.99. It's an insulated beverage holder. And it's really cute. And I try to get stuff that is new, obviously, for my giveaways. And this is from A New Day from Target. And it's this beautiful little like velvet jewelry case. This is something like if you're going on an overnight, you could throw your jewelry in here or any little trinkets and it zips and it's so pretty. So I thought these were so cute. And then I also got this. I probably won't do this as a giveaway until we're closer to the holidays, but I thought these were so pretty. It just says love, wish, and peace. And they are little ornaments. This I thought was a child's bag and I was going to throw it back. And then I looked and it was Talbot's. It has a few scratches on it, but I don't know. I, I thought somebody might enjoy this. For the holidays it's just a cute little purse if you have a dress that has a lot of silver accents i thought this would be really cute i'll try to shine that up a little bit um this i went back and forth on but i just decided that i thought the quality of this was just beautiful this is a vintage bag i sold some so sold comps on this brand for between 30 and 50 dollars others i saw very low but the brand is christian c-r-i-s-t-i-a-n let me see if i can get it out for you there we go. Let's see. Um, look at the structure of this and the condition. I just thought was really nice. Looks like a little bit of um, wear on the back. I thought the structure was so nice. And it's a classic black bag and I feel like you could wear it as a crossbody. And you know, I always look to make sure that the corners are in good shape and this checked out. So I picked this up mostly for style, but the comps were pretty good too. And I think this is the last of the bunch. Um, I found a really beautiful coach bag and it's in excellent condition. So it's like a chocolate brown with a really light lavender on the inside. I always want to make sure that we have the Creed. There's the coach Creed right there. And yeah, it's like it's beautiful condition it looks like it might be like an outlet bag um, like made specifically for the goodwill outlet not the goodwill outlet the coach outlet forgive me i have goodwill outlet on the brain but i thought this was adorable for the fall and i've had a lot of success selling um coach bags and kate spade in my whatnot shows i am thinking i'm probably going to sell this over there and then it's so pretty um this will probably sell for about 30 to 40 dollars on whatnot the leather is really soft i can't believe the condition of this i got really lucky this was next to a shoe bin and everybody was going for the shoes and i i kind of recognized it right away and so i grabbed it let me add everything up and then we'll figure out cost per item just because it's so much fun to see how many items I got at the bins and for what price. Okay, so I was mistaken. It wasn't 128, it was 123.88. And that first 14.20 was the exercise stuff. The $20.70 
was the handbags and kids. And then the 98 cents were the books. And then the $88 were like the big blue Ikea bags so that I was supposed to stop at. And here is the aftermath. These are all the things that are going to be washed. Those are the empty bags. This is my setup. Look at, <laughs> look at this mess. The shoes, I did pretty well with shoes. I didn't go crazy. Um, some of, you know, the puzzles in the books, a lot of the kids' things, the handbags, the items that I need to steam, and the little the little storage units here. Okay, so all in, this was 93 items total for today. That does include some of like the kids' items, obviously, so that doesn't go for as high of an amount. But anyways, my average cost of goods, are we ready? $1.33 average cost of goods, $123. Not bad, Lulu, right? Not bad. Did you miss me while I was gone? You did such a good job. Beautiful. Yeah, so that's where we're at. $1.33 per item. And yeah. that's it for today's bins haul. I hope you really enjoyed it. You can see like the different things that I'm buying for different platforms in my thought process that goes into it. I had so much fun as always shopping with Kim. I don't think we had any like crazy finds today, but I think it was a really solid day at the bins for a multitude of platforms and purposes. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. It means so much to me. Thank you so much. And I will be back soon with another video. Thank you guys. Love you. See you soon. Bye.